Hi, so this is a quick demo of how to use the micro bit to wirelessly stream accelerometer data to your PC. First, I wanted to preface this with the fact that I'm using the Chrome browser. Um, the examples we're going to be seeing depend on web Bluetooth, which is only available in the recent releases of Microsoft's Edge and the Chrome browser. So be sure you're using either Edge or Chrome, and it's a relatively recent release or it's been updated recently. Um, so first off, I've already written the program that'll, that we'll be using today, and there will be a link to this down below the video. Um, so you can just go to the, this program, open it up, and go ahead and program it onto your micro bit. Um, so I'm going to go through those steps. First, I thought I'd show you basically how the program works. So over here we have our simulated micro bit. Since the program is using accelerometer data, when I move over here I can tilt the simulated micro bit to kind of simulate the accelerometer data, and it shows me the simulated values over here. This program also uses the A and the B button. So the A button will be used to show the name of your micro bit. So in the simulator, the name of the simulated micro bit is B644. So anytime I press the A button, it'll scroll that across the screen. If you're working in a room or an area with a lot of people trying to do this sort of experiment at the same time, you'll need to be sure to know the name of your specific micro bit. We'll come back to that in just a second. Notice that down here there are a couple of buttons, Show Console Simulator and Show Console Device. You'll probably only have the Show Console Simulator initially, so basically this allows us to simulate what we're going to be doing with our actual micro bits in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and it will show the data coming from my simulated micro bit. Notice as I interact with this, the um, data down here changes, and what's being shown in this graph changes as well. Um, so remember the A button shows us the name of the micro bit. The B button will toggle the style of the graph. So currently it's showing all three axes of data on a single graph. If I click on this, it'll split it up. It'll stop using this merged graph and start using three separate graphs, one for the X, one for the Y, and one for the Z. Okay, so right now I'm viewing data from the simulator. We want to view data from a real micro bit. So I'm going to go back to my program. I'm going to go ahead and notice now that it's showing just the simulator button. I'm going to go ahead and pair to my device. So my micro bit is going to be plugged into my computer. So I'm going to plug it in with the USB cable. Um, oh, it just showed up. I just plugged it in. I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. And now I'm going to click on the download button. And if I watch the little yellow light on the back of the micro bit while I click that button, I'll see that it's flashing, sending the code over. At this point, this code has been sent over to my micro bit. Uh, again, if you're working with multiple people, this is the point where you'd want to push the A button and see the name of your micro bit scroll across the screen. My micro bit's name begins with a Z. It's Z E V. Okay, so now we need to be able to collect data wirelessly from the micro bit. I'm going to first off go up to the gear icon in the upper right, go down to the about button, and it'll pop up this little window with details about the, the simulator here. I'm going to click on experiments, and we want to make sure that Bluetooth console is enabled. So that'll basically allow us to collect data from the micro bit in that little console window that we just saw from the simulated micro bit. So make sure this is enabled. By the way, the, the setting is depends on the browser and the specific computer you're on. So it's kind of a, a browser-based setting. If you use a different computer, you'll have to double check and make sure that this is enabled. If you log out of your computer and someone else logs in, they'll be working with their browser settings and they'll need to check this. So if you're not seeing, um, if in just a minute you're unable to collect data, double check this setting. Since I see that it's enabled, I'm going to go back to my simulator. I'm now going to Click on the gear icon again and click on Pair Bluetooth. At this point, my browser will pop up a little window that shows me the available Bluetooth devices to connect to. So it will show me all of the Bluetooth micro bits available for me to connect to. There's my device, the one that begins with CEZEV. If I were in a room with other people doing the same experiment, different micro bits would show up here, and you'd want to be sure to only select the one that has the. You'd want to be sure to select your micro bit, which you can determine from the name of the micro bit by using the A button. So I'm going to go ahead and click the pair button. After I do that, notice that a second button's popped up that shows so, Show Console Device. So the top button will show us the behavior and data from the simulated micro bit. The bottom button will show us the data from the actual physical device, our real micro bit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. 
and we can see data streaming in and I'm going to pick up and move my micro bit and we can see that the graph is changing as I interact with the micro bit. Okay, and that's really all there is to streaming data wirelessly to the micro bit. I'm going to go ahead and click the B button here and we'll see all the data now separated out into three distinct graphs for the X, Y, and Z axis. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and if I wanted to interact with this, this collected data, I could hit the little download button here, which would export the data into a file format called a CSV file. Um, so CSV stands for comma separated values, although in this case they're not truly separated by commas. You just get a, a file that's in nice distinct columns. You can import it into either Google Sheets or Excel. Okay.